GGRC. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of GGRC where we're doing some E3 trailer reactions. This is the second one here. We have Anthem. Now, Anthem is a game that a lot of people were looking forward to hearing more about. They showed it off last year, 2017 E3, and they didn't really reveal much about it. They showed a little bit of gameplay. I don't know if it was like really, you know, some scripted events or whatever, but they just gave us a taste. It was like a quick 60 second thing. This year, they had a lot more to say about it. They actually have what I what I have here is a 20 minute long and I wouldn't say trailer, but presentation for it. And to be quite honest, we're actually going to skip to the last however many minutes of it and watch that together. Because a lot of this stuff that they're talking about in the first two-thirds of the video is, I feel, a lot of fluff. A lot of it is, like, basically just setting up the, you know... It's not even... They're not even setting up the world of Anthem. They're kind of just talking about, like, what you can do in it. They're like, oh, yeah, you can go to the town and get quests. And they kept showing off the concept art and these small little pieces of gameplay over and over and over and over again as they were talking. And it started to get really, really old. And it's like, can we see some gameplay? Can we see some gameplay here? And eventually, they finally did show us some gameplay. So that's actually what we're going to show off right here. Said these bastards made some kind of asset be using it as a weapon. So they got these gigantic Star Wars style walkers here. And of course your crazy mech suit style armor. Now, this is one of the cool things about this game, is it looks like you're gonna be able to fly anywhere you want to go with these jetpacks, so this actually looks like a ton of fun to do. Owen, what's the plan here? Picking up loads of scars nearby. Take a look around the area, but uh, be careful. So one of my other favorite things from the presentation last year was them showing off the amount of wildlife that's in the world. I, I love all the cool wildlife that appears to be in the game. Of course, you got numbers as they're shooting things here, and everything's in third person, so I know a lot of people are calling this game a third-person destiny, and I can definitely see that with this trailer here. But the the look of it... Yeah, though the look of it is very similar, it is a, a very different as well. This has a much more rustic feel, where destiny feels a lot more, you know, clean, I guess we could say. And of course, you're going to have gigantic enemies like that to take out. And using your jetpack underwater looked very, very cool, too. Look at this. You're just, like, completely diving these huge depths and everything. That looks awesome. And any game that makes water traversal fun, I'm always in for. Loads of scars nearby. Be careful. Flamethrower. Return them to the relic. You've got to silence it fast. Ooh. It's only hitting for one every shot. Huge sonic boom. Relic silenced. Do you think we get a bonus for wait, something's happening? What the hell was that? I think that was whatever laid all the eggs around here. The sound came from below your position. Hmm. On the plus side, this definitely counts toward hazard pay. There's a train of this acid gunk leading down. Follow it. We should find the source. So guy in robot suit with a cape. Definitely bungee style, that's for sure. It 
I'm really digging the heavy mech suit, though. I like this big one. Oh my god! So there you have it. That is Anthem in a nutshell. You know, they, they put together a real quick gameplay thing there. Um, and it looks cool. It looks promising. Um, I actually said this on my Twitter already. I, I, I think that this looks very promising. But the the fact of the matter is that I need more. Like, I need to know what, what exactly is the world. Like, what are we doing here? What is it about? Because uh, right now, to me, it looks like a mix between Titanfall and Destiny. And they kind of took those and put them together. Except with a lot more wildlife. And that aspect of it, I love. I love that you're in this, like, crazy jungle area with all these different animals and wildlife type, you know, uh, creatures and stuff like that. I love that aspect of it, but I, I want to know more about it. I want to know more about the world. And this game is coming out in February. That is not too long from now. What is that, like about seven or eight months? So they said that they've been working on this for a long time. They said that it's, you know, probably, uh, some people have said it's probably further along than you think it is. But there's, there's something about it that just feels... I don't know. Just way too, way too Bungie and Destiny-ish. And... While it looks cool and while, you know, maybe this game will deliver on a lot of the things that Destiny didn't, because I know that a lot of Destiny fans are not really, uh, you know, very happy with the way Destiny 2 is going. Um, maybe Anthem could be the game to step in and take that place. But as of right now, um, I'm sort of cautiously optimistic about Anthem. I'm not fully sold on it. Love the suits, love the wildlife, love the environment, love all the big creatures and stuff. But I want to know more. I want to see more of the town. I want to see how you get quests. I want to see what you can buy. Uh, I do want to see, um, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, one of the things that we're not going to cover in this trailer, at least, uh, is something that they did discuss earlier, is that you will be able to, you know, customize your character. So you'll be able to earn different outfits and different paintings for your mech and stuff like that, in case that's important to you. But other than that, other than that, in this like full 20 minute presentation, that was the, the big clip right there that you wanted to see to make sure that this game was something you're interested in. And so, as I said, I'll be cautiously optimistic about this. I'm not, you know, head over heels about it yet. I am definitely looking forward to see more about it. But as it stands right now, you know, I'm going to wait to see more gameplay stuff. Once it gets closer to release time, I'm probably going to be watching more trailers released about it to learn more about it. And hopefully they'll have some kind of an open beta in January or December to sort of like let you get a hold of the game and see if you actually want to play more of it. There you go, everybody. That is Anthem. Definitely looking forward to seeing more about this game later this year or early next year. And hey, please look forward to more of these E3 trailer reaction videos that I'll be doing. GG, everybody, and I'll see you next time.